What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's Monday morning and we have got three brand new legends, David Villa, Van Basten and Paulo Sergio. They're boosters. David Villa looks endgame, lads. He looks absolutely insane. Van Basten, they've done him dirty. And Paulo Sergio is going to be like any other winger in the game. Really fast, but a couple of weaknesses. The big news is probably David Villa, right? This is from his Valencia playing days. He's got the Valencia haircut. I remember actually having a Valencia jersey back in the day because I loved David Villa. He was just a really good goal scorer, you know, no fuss, really fast, really explosive. Um, and I definitely think that this is going to be a card that a lot of people will want. Van Basten, I know a lot of people and a lot of you, a lot of you guys have been waiting for him since his last card that came out. As with ever, uh, and as with every card here, if you already have the big time version of Van Basten or if you've got any version of David Villa or you've got Saviola, Michael Owen or Mario running gun, there's no real, there's no real added incentive to getting these apart from you know you just want to spin and play with, with some of your favorite players. Um, but I think that what they've done now is they've kind of created like one type of card and then they have multiple versions of that card. So for example, Romario, Saviola, Michael Owen, and now Davavia, they're all very similar cards. I know they have different play styles, they'll have different skills and stuff. But you know what I'm trying to say is that they kind of give you a couple of uh, chances of getting similar type cards that you can build and not have to spend for them all. That's obviously for newcomers and it's for people that really want to kind of collect the best type of cards, right? But we're going to go in and just show you some really quick, simple builds with no fuss, man. The way the gameplay is at the moment now, it's all about your experience of what you want to get out of it. We're going to be doing a big stream today. We're going to be training a lot of cards. We're going to be doing the live stream uh, because the free reset is going to be gone. And also, we're going to be talking about a lot of the new legends. But with the way the gameplay has gone at the moment, you have two decisions to make, right? You've kind of got two big decisions to make, if depending on how you want to play. The first one is how you actually want to set up your squad. Do you want to be going for wins above all else? Are you pushing rank? Are you pushing division? Are you pushing all that sort of stuff? And then the other one is kind of an experimentation type fun kind of social way of playing. Um, where you're trying out different players and you're not really worried about whether you bang in, you know, a goal a game with Van Basten. Because Van Basten will be a fun card to use, right? Um, there's no doubt about that. So I'm going to hide my face cam here and we're going to go through the players. These are also uh, a part of this pack here that you see. So you've got one or two players in here that are actually quite interesting. But I would say that the only pick out of these pack, out of this selection, is Dembele. And we'll, we'll, we're we're going to start with him, right? The rest of the three players will leave Van Basten and Davavia to last. But Dembele and Paulo Sergio are very similar cards. Ben Yedder, I don't think is worth... Like, there's nobody else worth spinning for. If you're in this pack and you're thinking, right, any of the four that I get here for a couple of thousand coins, brilliant. If I don't get them, then it's obviously going to be a bust. Dembele, we're going to show you the builds as well here. Only let down, I think, by his inconsistent form. But he is one of the best wingers in the game. Very, very, very solid. He's got double touch off the rip. He's got soul control off the rip. And all he's missing is flip flap, which I think you can kind of get fairly easy enough with the skills and the legacy transfer method. Now, I, I've got a lot of flip flaps in my day, uh, steady. But scissors fade, cut behind and turn, dip and shot, true passing, Rabona, everything that you could possibly want from a winger, apart from maybe one touch pass and pinpoint crossing. He's Well, he has pinpoint crossing, but he doesn't really have that much lofted pass. So you are dependent on his animations, which the game at the moment now, you are able to get by with not having huge passing and still be able to put in good stunning crosses. You know, that's kind of where the balancing comes in, in terms of, I do like the stunning crosses. I think that they add a little bit extra to it, but I would like to see them more rewarded, you know, like the dribbling. But we'll get into that in the stream later. Um, we'll show you the build for Dembele very, very quickly here as well, because it's it's a fairly easy build. You're going to be going with eight into shooting, three passing, eight into dribbling and lower body, and then 11 into dexterity. That's going to give you a beast here. Obviously, all these training guides and all these leveling guides will depend on what manager that you're using. This is taking Pep into consideration where you're going to be getting a plus three to the stats that are above 85, most of the stats. So his balance is going to shoot up. His acceleration is going to be maxed out. His speed is going to be really, really high as well as his dribbling, his tight possession and his ball control. And even his finishing is going to be around a 78 uh, mark as well, or 78, 79 mark. So he's nearly at 80 with the finishing. You can mess around a little bit with this if you want to. Honestly, I would probably take away two from this or three from this and probably pop one more into shooting there to have his finishing at 80. That's probably the build I would go for because I like to shoot a lot. Um, and that's kind of where I would go with that card, right? Very, very quickly as well with Sergio, uh, with Sergio Paulo, Sergio, 
Um, I don't remember this guy too well. Obviously, I'm not going to, you know, claim that I, I watched a lot of his game, but he looks very similar to uh, Dembele. Now, he has actually got double touch and flip flap off the rip with soul control. So he has ball roll. So he enters into those uh, rare kind of players that have ball roll straight off the rip, which if you start to use ball roll, ball roll it can be very effective. Cut behind and turn, long range, curler, heel trick, and first time shot. Very interesting card. Very, very nice card in fairness. And he's also got one big weakness, which is his balance at 71 for a winger. That's unusual. His acceleration is not going to be that high either. Um, but his skills are good. And these are the type of cards that can always surprise you, you know. Um, but that is the build that we've gone for 5 1 11 12 4. That is going to take into consideration either using Xabi Alonso or Pep. But to be honest, boys, listen. Once you are getting most of your important stats over 90, don't worry too much whether it's 91, 92, 93. Once you're able to get them as close to 90 as possible, 90 is where the threshold is for a lot of the upper tier stats. Anything over that, and I'm going to go through this in my live stream today, it depends on your play style to give you an extra 1%, you know, in terms of what you're going to be getting. So, for example, his type possession is going to be uh, 90 with the booster, which is going to be nice. Um, but his dribbling is going to be maxed out pretty much at like 98. You're not going to see a massive difference between 90, 90 dribbling and 98 dribbling. Just because where the game is at at the moment, that's just where things are. But finishing is there, acceleration, his balance is the one key issue with this card. And I think it does kind of ruin this card a little bit. Uh, moving on to Van Basten and David Villa. We'll start with Villa because a lot of people will be asking me about David Villa. As I said, I used to love watching him. And then he went to Barcelona and he was just beastly. Goal poacher, very, very nice. He's got the old school 25-year-old David Villa haircut with the little um, facial hair as well. Very iconic back in the day. This guy is very, very nice. He's got striker's instinct. He's got finishing in at 84, acceleration at 80. And, and unlike Paulo Sergio, even though they're kind of similar... Um, Similar, well, I know David Villa is a bit shorter than him, right? But he has actually got really nice balance and type position, possession off the rip with 32 levels. Very, very nice. And we're going to have double touch. We're going to have soul control. He just needs uh, flip flap to get that ball roll, which is very nice as well. He's got long range curler, chip shot control, first, team, first time shot. Have you guys noticed that a lot of players now have not got low lofted or one touch pass? I'll get into why I think that is uh, later on in the video. But I do feel that, that David Villa is definitely going to be a card that a lot of people use. And I go back to it. This is his build. It's going to be a Romario, Michael Owen style-esque build. Sabiola. If you have another version of those cards, you don't really need to spin. 4, 1, 11, 8, and 12 into lower body. That is with gonna, gonna bring up your build a lot. Tight possession, dribbling, ball control, finishing, kicking power, acceleration, speed, balance, and stamina all going to be at around the 90 mark, which is incredible. It's not all about stats. A lot of people make that mistake, but it is also about the type of player that you want. And Davafia is definitely going to be one of the most ultimate run and gun players and joining that crew. Last but not least, we have Van Basten. So just to go into his build here before we talk through it, two into shooting. Uh, we can pop three into that if you want to. Ten into dribbling, eleven into dexterity, seven into lower body, and six into aerial strength. Even when we've eleven points put in to balance, he's still going to have seventy balance, which. I think is the killer on this card, boys. This is probably the biggest issue with this Van Basten card and with his older Van Basten card. I just feel like these fox-in-the-box tall uh, center forwards, they're really harshly done by. He's got striker's instinct as well. He's got cut behind and turn. He's got one-touch pass, first-time shot, true passing. So he has actually got really good skills for a center forward. He doesn't have aerial superiority. I would definitely 100% give him that. That is a no-brainer for him. I would also give him probably a couple of more shooting skills. Outside curler is a must. But he's going to be doing a lot of his damage inside the box, like getting into the box. So his attacking awareness is going to be where you want to go with that. But you can't get it into the high 90-90s, you know. And that's one stat that does kind of go against, you know, getting to 90. The higher your attacking awareness can be, the better. But this, this card is let down massively by his balance. It's similar to Erling Haaland. Haaland's balance should be at least 75 off the rip, if not being able to go to 85, 90, you know, because the balance that is so important for holding onto the ball when you have it, it works in tandem with the tight possession. So if they don't have one of them, it's going to be an issue. But we'll get into that in the live stream as well later on. 
But lads, that is it for just a quick one. The rest of the players in this box, I don't think are really worth spinning. If you have the old-time version of Van Basten, or you have a centre-forward that's a target man, I don't know, is he worth it? David Villa, if you have Romario, Saviola, Michael Owen, any of those run-and-gun players, even if they're previous versions of the card, I don't know if David Villa is worth it either. And Paulo Sergio is just a generic uh, winger that has a couple of weaknesses um you know he's nice skills but a couple of weaknesses with his balance so let me know what you guys think that is the european club attackers we will be back later on a live stream with a big big stream until then have a good day and i'll see you in a little bit